There are many strange and fascinating animals that call America home, some of which you may have never heard of before. From bizarre-looking creatures to ones with unique behaviors, here are just a few examples of some of the strangest animals in America that you won't believe exist. Follow along with Beastly Band and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. Gila Monster The Gila Monster, Heloderma suspectum, is a large, venomous lizard that is native to the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. It is one of only two venomous lizards in the world, with the other being the closely related Mexican beaded lizard. The Gila Monster is a relatively slow-moving animal that typically grows to be between 18 and 24 inches, 45 to 60 centimeters, in length, although some specimens have been known to reach up to 30 inches, 75 centimeters long. It has a heavy, stocky body with short, powerful legs and a thick tail. Its skin is covered with bead-like scales that are bumpy and rough to the touch, and are colored in a distinctive pattern of black and pink or orange. One of the most striking features of the Gila monster is its venomous bite. The venom is produced in glands located in the lower jaw, and is delivered through grooves in the teeth when the lizard bites down on its prey. The venom contains a potent mix of toxins that can cause intense pain, swelling, and nausea in humans, as well as potentially life-threatening complications such as respiratory failure and heart failure. Despite its fearsome reputation, the Gila monster is not an aggressive animal and will typically only bite in self-defense or when hunting prey. Its diet consists primarily of small mammals, birds, and reptiles, as well as eggs and carrion. The Gila monster is also known to store fat in its tail, which it can use as a source of energy during periods of food scarcity. Although the Gila monster is a protected species, its population is threatened by habitat loss and fragmentation, as well as by illegal collecting for the exotic pet trade. Crested Caracara The Crested Caracara is a bird of prey found in the Americas, from the southern United States down to northern Argentina. It is known for its distinctive appearance, with a black and white crest on its head and a sharp, curved beak. The Crested Caracara is a large bird, with a wingspan of around 4.5 feet, 1.4 meters, and a length of up to 2.5 feet, 0.76 meters. It has a distinctive appearance, with a black and white head, a brown body, and a crest of feathers on the top of its head. It also has a hooked beak, sharp talons, and a powerful build, making it an effective hunter. As a bird of prey, the crested caracara is known for its hunting prowess. Its diet consists mainly of small mammals, such as rodents and rabbits, as well as insects, reptiles, and occasionally carrion. While the crested caracara is not typically a danger to humans, there are some risks associated with hunting it. The bird is protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act in the United States, which means that it is illegal to kill or harm the bird without a permit. In addition, the bird's sharp talons and beak can be dangerous if handled improperly. It is important to note that hunting wildlife should always be done in a responsible and sustainable manner, following local laws and regulations. It is also important to respect the natural habitat and behavior of the animals being hunted. Axolotl The axolotl is a unique aquatic salamander that is native to Mexico, specifically to the lake complex of Xochimilco and Chalco in the Valley of Mexico. It is also commonly known as the Mexican walking fish, even though it is not a fish at all. The axolotl is famous for its incredible regenerative abilities. It can regenerate lost limbs, spinal cord tissue, heart tissue, and even parts of its brain. This makes it an important subject of scientific research, particularly in the field of regenerative medicine. The axolotl has a distinctive appearance, with its flat head, wide smile, and feathery external gills that stick out from the sides of its head. It has a long, slender body, and a long tail that it uses for swimming. It has four stubby legs with small toes, which it can use to walk along the bottom of the lake. Axolotls primarily feed on small fish, worms, insects, and crustaceans as they are carnivorous in nature. In the absence of food, they can resort to cannibalism and prey on their own young. Unfortunately, the axolotl is critically endangered in the wild due to habitat destruction, pollution, and the introduction of non-native fish species that compete with it for resources. They are also commonly kept as pets, which has led to a decline in wild populations due to overcollection. Nile Crocodile The Nile Crocodile is a large and aggressive crocodile species that is native to Sub-Saharan Africa. While it is not found in the wild in America, it is sometimes kept in captivity in zoos and private collections. Nile Crocodiles are apex predators and are known for their size, strength, and aggressive behavior. They are opportunistic hunters and will eat almost anything they can catch, including fish, birds, mammals, and even other crocodiles. They are also known to attack humans who venture too close to the water. In Africa, Nile crocodiles are responsible for numerous human fatalities each year. 
they are known to be highly territorial and will defend their territory aggressively. In addition, they are capable of moving quickly both on land and in water, making them difficult to escape from once they have targeted a victim. For these reasons, it is highly recommended that people avoid swimming or wading in areas where Nile crocodiles are known to live. If encountering a Nile crocodile in the wild, it is important to avoid provoking it and to retreat slowly and cautiously if possible. Jaguarundi. The Jaguarundi, also known as the otter cat or era cat, is a small wildcat native to Central and South America, including parts of the southern United States. It is known for its distinctive appearance, with a long, slender body, short legs, and small, rounded ears. While the jaguarundi is not known to be a significant threat to humans, it is still considered a wild animal and should be treated with caution. Like all wild cats, the jaguarundi is capable of inflicting injury if provoked or cornered. However, it is worth noting that these animals are typically shy and elusive, and are unlikely to pose a threat to humans unless they feel threatened. The jaguarundi is a solitary animal and is typically active during the day. It is an excellent hunter and preys on a variety of small animals, including rodents, birds, reptiles, and insects. Despite its small size, the jaguarundi is known for its impressive hunting abilities and has been observed taking down prey much larger than itself. Overall, the jaguarundi is a fascinating and unique animal that is worth learning about. While it is not typically considered a danger to humans, it is important to treat all wild animals with respect and caution to avoid any potential risks. Gemsbok. Gemsbok, also known as oryx, are large antelopes with striking black and white markings and long, straight horns. They are well adapted to life in the harsh deserts of Africa, and have developed a number of unique adaptations to help them survive. The Gemsbok or African oryx is native to the savanna of South Africa and other southern African countries. But in 1969, a group was introduced to New Mexico in the White Sands area to give hunters a big game to go after. That group of less than 100 took hold, with more than 3,000 now in the area. The Gemsbok thrived due to a lack of predators in New Mexico, whereas they lived in fear of the lion in their native lands. The National Park Service is monitoring the animal to see how it might affect the ecology of the White Sands area. One of the most impressive of these adaptations is their ability to conserve water. Gemsbok are able to extract moisture from their food and can go for long periods without drinking. They also have the ability to raise their body temperature during the day, reducing the amount of water they need to stay cool. Despite their impressive survival skills, Gemsbok are still threatened by predators such as lions and hyenas. To defend themselves, they use their long, sharp horns to deliver powerful blows. In fact, they are known to be one of the few animals that can take on a lion and win. In addition to their impressive physical abilities, Gemsbok also hold a special cultural significance for many African tribes. They are revered as symbols of strength, resilience, and endurance, and are often depicted in traditional artwork and ceremonies. Overall, Gemsbok are fascinating and resilient animals that have adapted to thrive in some of the harshest environments on Earth. Lampreys. Lampreys are a type of jawless fish that can be found in various freshwater and saltwater habitats throughout North America. There are several different species of lamprey that live in America, including the sea lamprey, silver lamprey, and chestnut lamprey. Lampreys have circular, toothed mouths that they use to attach themselves to other fish and feed by extracting bodily fluids. This parasitic feeding behavior can have a significant impact on fish populations, and lampreys are often considered a nuisance or invasive species. Despite their somewhat creepy feeding habits, lampreys have an important role in many ecosystems as a food source for other predators such as birds and mammals. In some Native American cultures, lampreys are also a traditional food source and have cultural significance. Lampreys are also unique in their life cycle, which involves an extended larval phase known as the amicoete stage. During this stage, the lamprey larvae burrow into sediment and filter feed before transforming into adults and migrating to the sea or larger bodies of water to feed and reproduce. In addition to their role in the ecosystem and their unique life cycle, lampreys are also of scientific interest due to their evolutionary history. They are one of the oldest living groups of vertebrates, with a fossil record dating back over 360 million years. Jaguars. Jaguars are large wild cats that are native to the Americas, including the southern United States, Mexico, Central America, and South America. They are the third largest big cat in the world after tigers and lions and are known for their distinctive yellow or orange coat with black spots or rosettes. Jaguars are apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the food chain in their ecosystem. They primarily hunt deer, peccaries, capybaras, and other small to medium-sized mammals, but they are also known to hunt reptiles, fish, and birds. 
They are excellent swimmers and will even hunt caimans and other aquatic prey. Jaguars are solitary animals and are most active during dawn and dusk. They are territorial and mark their territory with urine and claw marks on trees. Their territories can range from 10 to 80 square miles, depending on the availability of prey. Unfortunately, jaguars are considered a threatened species due to habitat loss, fragmentation, and hunting. Their populations have declined significantly in many parts of their range, and they are now extinct in some areas. Conservation efforts are underway to protect jaguars and their habitat, but more work needs to be done to ensure their survival. Thanks for watching our video on strange animals in America. We hope you enjoyed learning about these incredible creatures. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to show your support. Don't miss out on our upcoming videos that explore other fascinating facts and strange things in the world.